guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Shinnit and I'm a professional lifestyle content creator here on YouTube. I'm other for my Instagram and my other social media down below, so feel free to come follow me and subscribe to my channel as I upload weekly. In today's video, I'm going to do a reaction video. I haven't done one of these in a while, but this one I'm going to do a bit differently, so I thought I'd bring it home this time around. And I'm going to do a reaction to the stunning 1966 footage of Melbourne, Australia. Now, I feel, I'm feeling a bit nostalgic today and I just wanted to go back in time just a little bit to when times were much more simple. And, um, yeah, just wanted to see how it was like when my parents were around. Um, definitely a different time to where it is now. But, anyway, before we get any further, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment on this video. And, um, yeah, press on that bell, don't forget. Um, I'm also got a TikTok account, love for you to subscribe to me, uh, like or follow on that one. <laughs> I'll leave that link down below too. So yeah, come check me out. Um, I am over 30. I am, I am very independent and um, yeah, I am straight to the point. So my reactions are pretty phenomenal. <laughs> anyway, get yourself a cup and let's get ready. Before we go any further, I'm going to put the original here. Or what's what you see, on, what I'm seeing on screen up here. And then I'll link it down below so you can check it out. It's from the channel Surfing Christian 63 I'm not sure. But anyway. Isn't it all you? Okay. That would have to be the Yarra River. That would have to be. Would it be? Look how quiet. Oh my god. Horse and carriage. Milk. Yes, my mum used to say they had milk deliveries. I wonder what that is. That would be with a church. Um, It'll be Chapel Street. How quiet is it? Literally quiet. That, that's Further Street. That's um, Elizabeth Street. Uh, let's see how they dress because that's how I react. I love that pink coat. That's for the street station, they're different to pre-COVID in Melbourne. Walking everywhere. Coming to people. Catching the train. Look at their uniforms. They will probably be receptionists, I say. Like they're old traditional rich receptionists. Milk. Is that milk? Look at the trams! Oh my god! Look at the buildings! We're still gonna, that's one of the things I love about Melbourne. We're still gonna love the original buildings. And especially from the street station. I'm, I'm so upset that they're gonna redo that. But I mean, it's looking kind of a bit the same. It's, you know, I love it. It's just so vintage, so unique, so, you know, original. You know, whereas I feel like now everyone's just competing. Um, that's, I'm not talking about humans in general, I'm talking about. Everything construction industry is trying to do bigger than anyone else, but you know, simple times. <sighs> that would be Berg Street, I'd say. No, from the street, Elizabeth. That would. Where's that? That would be Berg Street because you can see Maya. I had this for many for many years when I was going out. Even before that, they were just bringing them down. I wonder what that is. Cause it's quite dark. There's no no sound though. Anyway. The method. Let's let's react to this. Do you know how many people yes. use public transport to get around Melbourne? Look at the buses. One hundred and fifty thousand. <laughs> Three hundred thousand. In fact, it's four hundred and twenty thousand every weekday. And that was back then. Imagine if all these people had to get around any other way. It'd be a nightmare. By moving 
killing so many people. Our public transport system helps avoid all that, but it doesn't stop there. Moving them in comfort is another thing. That's why we've introduced air conditioning and better seating to more and more vehicles. Let's face it, isn't this a far more pleasant thing for Melbourne to wake up to? The Met. We're getting there. Uh, I'm gonna stop the reactions there. But how different is Melbourne back then? Alright, what they're wearing on the train? And I can guarantee you, I hardly got one of those tra trains with air conditioning. Hardly ever. It was always sweltering hot, especially those 40 degree days in Melbourne. Oh yeah, and I thought we got them this year in 2021, <laughs> in summer. But um, we got them straight to autumn. But um, yeah, have different reaction. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I can always ask you guys, let me know if you have any others you want to react to. Like, I do react to fashion as opposed to, like, a movie. Um, I don't do movie reactions, I don't do that. Um, more like what they're wearing and how they wear it and what, how they style it. So, if you have any fashion related ones, please let me know in the comments. Um, or you can DM me, DM me on Insta, I don't mind at all. Um, yeah, so what do you guys think? Give this video a big thumbs up. Um, hope you enjoyed today's video. It's a bit short one. I just wanted to keep it a bit sweet and short and short and, is it short and sweet. I think short and sweet. Short and sweet. I just I've had a big week. So yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.